Is your apology style destroying your relationships? Do you use the backhanded apology when your sorry is really an insult? And I'm sorry that I pointed out that you haven't had a real relationship for the last five years because I'm the only person who can tolerate your bizarre and violent mood swings. What about the narcissistic apology when your sorry sounds like a brag? I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm popular. And then there's the competitive apology when you try to out-sorry someone else's sorry. Well, Shrek, I'm sorry that I was the first one to say sorry, which makes mine more sincere. I'm sorry my sorry was emotional. Hopefully you don't do the short-lived apology. That's when you do the same behavior right after you apologize for doing it. I'm sorry I did not see you there. Or there. The obnoxious apology is when you smother the person with your sorry. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I want the world to know that I was late! And I'm sorry! And the theatrical apology is when you make a big show of saying you're sorry. There are two apology styles that work like magic every single time. Like the humble apology, when you simply take responsibility for what you did wrong and say you're sorry about it. It was me. I stole your Christmas because I thought it would fix something that happened a long time ago. But it didn't. And I'm sorry. And my favorite apology style is the simple apology. When you simply say two words, I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Wilson! Bottom line, a simple, short, and sincere apology just might save your relationships. I'm Brooks Gibbs. Follow me if you need help with your people problems.